Hi, this is Dr. Thomas Gibbs in Glen, Illinois, and welcome to our webinar on So You Hate Your Dentures and What Are Your Other Choices? Uh, certainly, if you can save your teeth, I highly recommend it if that's possible. Um, I would have, though, uh, certainly take a good look at our video on the dangers of dentures. Uh, if you do have dentures, you are uncomfortable, miserable, uncertain of your future, you certainly have a lot of choices. And we're going to go into all these choices coming up here. Uh, the choices depend on comfort factors as far as pinch gums, gooey adhesives, uh, uh, how concerned you are about them falling out, um, the health factors, force factors, support factors, um, quality and quantity of bone. And then this is something the trained dentist has to determine. Facial aesthetics, are your ch cheeks sinking in? Um, do you have uh, uh, wrinkles, things like that? Uh, smile aesthetics, what your previous teeth look like, your gums look like. Um, so what is a dental implant? Dental implant can be thought of as a uh, artificial root made of pure titanium. The bone actually fuses to that surface, a very strong biocompatible uh, junction there, long-term success rate over 20 to 40 years in the 98% range. They can be used by themselves or tied together to completely replace dentures or stabilize them. And again, we're going to go into all these options. Uh, many advantages here. Certainly, uh, you can regain your ability to feel where you're chewing. You can regain the ability to feel the roof of your mouth, feel the texture of the, of the food, the thermal qualities of food. The, we can get the teeth in much better aesthetics, uh, better speech, chewing, retention, uh, no goop. A uh, far better success rate long term. Uh, let's look at some of the choices here. One choice is mini implants. Um, I do use these, uh, but not often. Uh, they are very small. Look at that picture in the middle there. A mini implant would be the one on the bottom. Would be the one on the bottom right. Whereas full size implants are the two on the left. So not going to be as strong. Not going to be as stable. It is. Uh, uh, one of the less expensive ones. I oftentimes use them even as interim restorations during the healing for uh, for other implant fixtures. Yeah, implant retained dentures. Here's where I use a uh, two to four of the uh, full size implants. We pretty much clip the denture into place now. It uh, does not move nearly as much as a denture. Um, some uh, so it has the benefits as being one of the least costly ap approaches. It's fast. We have it done roughly three months there. Far superior to denture. Some considerations there. You can actually get increased resorption in the back areas. It's still tissue supported, but implant retained. Uh, and you do have some ongoing across of relines, uh, cleaners, clips. Uh, next uh, option would be implant supported dentures. As scary as that uh, bar looks on the bottom left there. Uh, this denture is now um, not supported by the gums, it's actually rest on that bar. So highly retentive, uh, very stable, very comfortable. Uh, this lady on the bottom right was thrilled. Um, another uh, uh, diagram of the same type of situation. You can see there uh, the denture is uh, held on by that bar. Very comfortable, very secure. Um, the uh, 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 bone resorption in those back areas is now uh, pretty much diminished. Um, another thing you will see online, uh, I have been trained in this procedure, I have studied this procedure. It's not my favorite uh, for the big reason there that if any one of those uh, implants, uh, this is called all on four or teeth in a day, sometimes teeth in an hour, but if any one of those four implants fails, the whole darn thing comes down just like a uh, the uh, legs of a chair. Um, so you do uh, have the advantage of speed and convenience. The disadvantage is, uh, again, uh, long-term stability. Um, slightly more money, slightly uh, more time. You're going to get something far more stable with a uh, fixed implant bridge. Here we do put some additional implants in. Um, you can feel the roof of your mouth, which preserves the face and bone structures, the muscles. Uh, prevents wrinkles, uh, sunken cheeks. Um, it is going to uh, take more time to do, um, but again, uh, these can be beautiful restorations. Um, in the mouth, these look like the teeth of a 20 year old. Uh, again, here's some ex uh, examples here. Uh, these are retracted views, uh, unfortunately, when these people are smiling. Uh, 
Uh, these look like uh, really nice teeth. Again, no plastic on the roof of the mouth. Highly stable. Um, uh, so again, some more examples here. Um, these are just really life-changing procedures. Uh, we can make these uh, out of plastic. We can make them out of a, uh, a porcelain, depending on the uh, uh, quality and quantity of the bone the person has remaining there. Um, again, these are just pretty much bolted down into place. Uh, to be able to do those types of sophisticated procedures, we have to resort to using very sophisticated software, sophisticated computers. Um, uh, these are very pre-planned, and being this pre-planned, we can actually do it quickly and very comfortably. Um, too old? These are actually census of uh, bureau uh, statistics here. Age 65, a woman has a 40% chance to live an additional 25 years. Um, and uh, uh, people ask, Jason, can you give me a ballpark price? This is a uh, analogy that a patient gave me. You think of a denture as being a uh, rusted out wreck. Many implants use car, implant retained dentures, an uh, inexpensive car, implant supported, a nice car, and all on four, an implant supported bridge. It's like buying a luxury car. Um, again, numbers are going to depend on the individual considerations. Quality of life or price. Uh, one of my favorite patients was a lady named Olga. At 92, she came in. She was frail. Um, she could not chew. She could not talk. She could not smile about things falling out. Uh, she lived a three weeks sh uh, shy of 96. She could smile. She could talk. She could chew. She was very happy. We had placed two implants on the top and three on the bottom. So, again, these can be life changing uh, procedures. Uh, another important concept is that you do not have to start uh, uh, with the uh, implant supported bridge if that's uh, where you decide to go. Um, if you at least put a couple in there, we can stabilize the bone, we can get you comfortable, get you moving along. Uh, and certainly look at uh, the comments from patients at our website, livewithoutdentures.com. Um, uh, we do have plenty of credentials here, plenty of training, but uh, I would consider the photos, the patient feedback to be our, uh, our most important uh, credential there. Uh, if you aren't ready for this type of dentistry but know somebody who is, let them know. We do can provide a complimentary consultation. And uh, certainly go on our, uh, our, uh, our website, fearlessdentalcare.com, call our office, 630-858-8800. If you want more information, uh, we have a free reports at 888-371-0641. Just leave a message there, we'll get back to you. And uh, certainly be sure to uh, see some of our, our other videos online there, Dangerous Adventures, and uh, all the way down to dental sedation options. Thanks for listening. Look forward to hearing from you in the future. Bye-bye.